what's cooking, my friends? About to go down to the beach, and do a little fishing. So I am back in South Carolina. I left for a while and then I had so much fun. I was like, I want to go back there. So I'm back on the coast of South Carolina. And uh, last time I was fishing down here, I just hauled all my stuff by hand down. And uh, then I saw this other fisherman. He had a cart just like this and had all this stuff real organized on it. So I rented this cart so I could walk down to the beach easier because it's quite a it's quite a walk <laughs> down there. And uh, we're just down at this beach and just gonna fish from the beach again. I'm a newbie at the whole Atlantic Ocean fishing thing. So I just got some squid with me, a few fishing rods. We're just gonna fish from the beach and see what happens. Man, it is a beautiful morning out here. Check this out guys, there's like a sunken boat um, just off the beach a little bit on a sandbar. But it's an upside down, looks like a sailboat. All right my friends, so here is the plan. The way I figured it, a boat that is uh, sitting underwater there is a great spot for fish to hang out. And so I'm just gonna try to fish it from the beach. Don't know if I'll be able to cast quite that far, but I should be able to get close and uh, we'll see if there's any fish on the sunken boat out there. For bait, I simply have some uh, frozen squid here. Nice little wild caught squid. And I'm just gonna cut off a nice chunk. I don't have any real heavy equipment today. Um, in fact, this is just a 30 pound leader with a fairly small hook. I'm just going for, I don't know, Small redfish, small sharks, um, stingrays, I don't know, just whatever bites out there. But I have no plan on, I'm not using the baits, I don't have the equipment for anything real big. So I figured that a nice little piece of squid on a circle hook, 30 pound leader, and just a nice little pyramid sinker should uh, do the trick. All right, gonna walk out here a little ways and cast as far as I can. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Got some. Something. something just loaded on, right? Got one already, guys. That's like a few minutes out there. Yes, this is something good. Right by that, kind of near that boat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's exciting. Already. Got to watch my other rod. What do we got? Wait. Oh. Uh, Dude, I think I have a stingray. I think I have a stingray. What? A stingray, yeah. That's cool. I mean, to me, a lot of, apparently a lot of fishermen, oh, that's cool. I don't care what they say, that's cool. A lot of fishermen, these are like just trash. Oh, that's cool. I think it's really neat. Whoa. That's like a minute out there. Let me haul them over to my stuff over here. Nice. Check that out, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Now, we do have to be careful with this dude because he has a tail. In fact, he has a tail with a big old barb on it. Um, let's see, I don't have any experience or much experience with these. Oh, I see the barb there. I've only caught one or two of these before. Yeah, look at that barb sticking out. Yeah, you can see it right there. So, gotta be careful with this dude. I'm gonna flip him over. There we go. We're gonna get at that hook. Let me get my pliers out. Huh? All right, guys. You know, oh, wait, there's a wave. Hey, 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 ho. I'm thinking about keeping him and eating him, but I, um, I don't know. Like, he's kind of big, and I don't know how good they taste. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to keep this. Let's see. He'll he'll kind of fit in the bucket. Guys, yeah, I'm going to do it. I, I've heard of people eating these stingrays before. I'm going to try eating one. Kill him real fast. Well, that was fast action, folks. Within a few minutes, I already have a stingray we're going to try eating. Let's get it back out there. What in the hay? Are you kidding me? 
I didn't even know I had anything. It's a little, um, I thought it was a croaker. Well, I think it depends on where you are. People were calling it a whiting last time I was here. I thought it was a croaker. But whatever it is, maybe we should put it on a hook. Huh. Didn't even know I had them on. What do you guys think? Should we put them? Yep, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's put them on a hook. You know what I'm going to do, actually, is we're just going to cut them up and you use some cut bait. Because uh, I, don't, I don't have the equipment for anything too big. So we're just gonna make, cut, take a nice piece of uh, cut bait from him. There we go, a piece of the whiting or croaker that I just caught, and we'll sling that out there. Maybe we'll catch a shark. Oh, I think I'm getting a bite, getting a bite, folks. I know I'm getting a bite. Come on, come on. Uh, I think it's something small messing with it. Because it's back already. Look at that, look at that. Got him. Got something. Got something already. Again. Folks, this is fast action. Oh yeah. What do we got? What do we got? A shark. We got a we got a little baby shark. Again, just like last time. Look at that. What is this? What kind of shark? That is so cool. Um, let's see here. Is this a dogfish? I think I got a dogfish, folks. Oh, that is cool. I, you know what, that is so funny because I, I took the whiting, I cut it up, and I catch a shark on the piece on the whiting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I think this is a dogfish. I'm kind of new. You can actually keep and eat these if you want. All right, we're just gonna let this guy go. He's so small, There's and look how skinny he is. I mean, there's not gonna be, there's not gonna be much meat on him. Hey, hey, oh, other way, fella other way uh, he'll figure it out I think yeah there he is all right I think <laughs> hey man he's a little discombobulated there you go there you go all right that's cool all right all right all right hey what are you doing here what are you doing Get back out there. Unless you want to be eaten. Come on. There you go. All right. Cast this back out there. Boy, folks, we are getting a lot of stuff on this uh, sunken boat. I forgot a rod holder. So I have to hold. I can only fish with one at a time, which isn't too bad because the action's been so fast. I missed him. Missed him. Let's see if he comes back around for him. Boy, all of a sudden it was just like, like something just had it. It was, it was no like tap, tap like before. It was just like something grabbed it and started swimming. Whoa, not only is my bait gone, but my hook is gone too. Dang it, that was a big something. Shoot. Something with teeth? Maybe a shark? Check that out, guys got a big truck I think they're gonna come and try to haul out the boat uh, it is high tide right now I better reel in we got police and everything here as long as this all isn't for me all right folks so as you can see behind me a bunch of police and stuff showed up so we're going to move down the beach a little bit and let them try to haul this sunken boat out there away Alright guys, so here's the new situation. Um, I'm still fishing the beach here, but I've come to this spot where the river is running in here and the tide is changing right now. So it's going to start flowing out and what I'm hoping is that on this kind of point here where the river and the ocean meet, there might be some game fish or something like that hanging out here. So just going to throw on line out. This is my last piece of that whiting that I caught earlier. Oh wait, I might have something. Oh yeah, I've got something. Didn't even know it. 
Oh, it's something good too. I, I, as far as, I, I didn't know it for, for like probably 20 seconds. I, I had a bite and then the, the whatever it was must have just sat there. This might be a stingray based on that because it just sat in the same spot. Ooh, this is a good one. I, that's that piece of whiting again. This, <laughs> this is cool. Glad I have that wire leader on there this time. Yeah, I see a tail. It's a stingray. It's a big stingray. Yep. Yep, it's a big stingray, folks. Dang it. I was hoping for a black drum or something like that. Still pretty cool, though. In fact, that's really cool. <laughs> that's neat. Gotta be careful of this guy. Use the wave to help us pull him up on shore. Nice. That is neat. Grab him by the tip of the tail. Flip him over. There's the hook. There we go, hook is out. Flipping him back over. All right, there you go. Fly, fly. Well folks, that was cool, but I'm getting hungry and I really want to try this stingray, so. Let's get cooking. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna leave a line out. Yeah, this is a interesting spot here where the river meets the ocean. And so I'm gonna throw a line out here while we cook and we'll keep an eye on it. All right guys, check this out. Not really sure what he's doing. Well, he's just eating the stingray. This little bird is just eating on my stingray. I left him sitting there. He's like pecking out his eyes. Hey Siri, how do you clean a stingray? I'm just kidding, I don't use Siri. All right, oh, phone's almost out of battery. Better make this quick. Oh, well, my phone's almost out of battery. I got enough knowledge just to be dangerous now. We're just gonna go for it. Hmm. I mean, how hard can this be, really? Oh man, the skin is thick. Was not expecting this skin to be so thick. Got something protruding there. Oh boy. All right, so we have somewhat of a fillet there. Do I take the skin off, you think, or should we leave the skin on? Sometimes the skin can actually be really tasty. Here's this little cutting board sent to me by a uh, subscriber, so I'm going to use that. I actually am going to take this skin off. You know, we'll try leaving the skin on though for a, for a piece. Just cause. Well, there we go. So we have the first filet. What's super weird about this right off the bat is that the... It's almost like the meat is in strands, like these stringy strands. That is so weird. You can even see it there. It's like a bunch of... It's just in like strands. That, that I've never seen anything like that before in a in a creature. I'm gonna set up my catch and cook stall here. Got this little butane burner and a stove. Definitely gonna need the windshield. This is my favorite part. Oh, blew them out. There we go. So since this is the first time ever eating stingray, I'm just going to cook it in butter and some seasonings um, so that we can taste that the stingray itself is actually good. Keep it nice and simple. All right, let's add the stingray. And I have here a couple pieces with skin still on them and we're gonna throw those in there. Oh, that's, yeah. I'm going to throw those in there as well. We'll see if the skin is any good. Like the skin of trout is one of my favorite parts on a trout. So see, we'll see what it's like for stingray. The big piece though has no skin on it. And then just to mix it up, folks, I'm going to go for some Old Bay. I know I use my seasoning a lot on my channel. 
first cast seasoning, link in the description below. But I want to just try some Old Bay. I haven't tried this for a long time. I figured it was appropriate since we are on the Atlantic coast to try some Old Bay seasoning. This seems to be like something that, that people on the East Coast really like and eat way more than we do on the West Coast. All right, how are we looking in here? Oh, that's crazy. The stingray is like falling apart. Like the strands of meat. It's like it's kind of brittle. It's brittle. A little more of this good old bay to it. Sweet. This is fun. I'm excited to try something brand new. It smells good. But that's probably because the old bay, so that's not really a good analysis. Here, here's the good thing. It doesn't smell bad. When we tried cooking carp one time, carp smelled awful. All right, I got to try a sampling of this. Let's say a prayer real quick. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not saying a prayer because I think something bad is going to happen. It's just thankful for every meal that I eat. I, I always do this. All right. Stingray, for the first time. Is it trash or treasure? This is with skin on. Um, let's put it this way. If you want a fishy flavor, leave the skin on. Oh, there's a bird right there. Yeah, hey, you can have it. Okay, so my initial impression is woo, you want a strong fishy flavor, the skin <coughs> is definitely fishy. So the first conclusion is skin is no good. Don't, don't leave the skin on. That was a bad idea. I can see some of those old timers that just love that really strong fishy flavor. They might like it, but that is not for me. Uh, let's just try the pure stingray. You know, let me wash my mouth out real quick. Otherwise, that's going to haunt me. All right, pure stingray. It's tough. That's kind of interesting. Quite chewy. It's really steak-like. Almost reminds me of like scallops or oysters or something like that. Like the taste of it doesn't remind me of fish. It reminds me of like a shellfish. This is so weird how it, it like flakes away. But at the same time, like the meat, the strands there, you see how they're like three individual strands. At the same time, they're tough. I mean, it's definitely edible. It's just kind of weird to me. Like the flavor is like an oyster or something. To give you guys a clue of how much I don't care for that flavor, I'm actually gonna throw the rest of this out. I don't I don't want to finish it. I mean if you're starving or if you grew up eating it, great. I mean probably probably love it. There you go, some crab is gonna be really, really happy. Or a bunch of crabs. Anyway, if you grew up eating it, probably wonderful, but that's not my cup of tea, that's for sure. For the rest of this stingray, folks, I'm just gonna cut it up um, and use some chunks for crabbing later. I plan on crabbing for blue crab later. And I think this weird uh, smell and flavor is perfect for crab bait. Also might be good for shark bait as well. There you go. Well guys, my first and probably the only stingray catch and cook I'll ever do. I do not foresee myself eating any more of those in the future, but I'm still glad I tried it. It was fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.